Today we have with us Eltel and its CEO, Kasimir Lindholm. Welcome. Thank you. Eltel released its Q4 result today, but uh, before we go deeper into that, could you, could you, for those who are not so familiar with Eltel, could you tell us a little bit about the company? Yes, uh, we're a market leader in the infra uh, industry in the Nordics, uh, roughly a billion in net sales, uh, uh, more than 6,000 people uh, working for Eltel. Uh, we're, the main purpose of the company is to secure the lifelines of society, uh, both in the telecom and, and uh, power sectors. So that's what we're focusing on. Uh, working mainly towards the big uh, telcos in the Nordics and uh, power utility companies that are main customers. Mm. Now, so like, like I said, you released your Q4 uh, result today. How would you uh, summarize the Q4 and, and last year as a whole? Of course, it's what it was uh, 2020 was a, a different year in many aspects, like for all of us. Um, all in all, uh, we we uh, changed uh, uh, a lot of uh, things in, in 2020, uh, both uh, internally uh, in the company, focusing a lot on productivity efficiency, uh, and that has given good results. At the same time, uh, we continue to uh, divest the non-strategic assets outside the Nordics. Um, we were able to win uh, uh, many large uh, frame agreements, uh, and that is a good platform for, for us for the years to come. Uh, we improved uh, our quality, uh, and also uh, we improved the cash flow and the networking capital in the company. And um, also, we're able to bring our down our net debt to uh, healthy levels. So uh, we have come a bit, uh, let's say, halfway on the journey of our turnaround and transformation of of Eltel uh, that started a couple of years ago. Mm. Like you said, you are in the midst of a uh, turnaround uh, as we speak. What are your um, main focus areas at the moment? Uh, one, one of course, is, is to improve the margins going forward. That will be the main focus in, in uh, 21 as well. Uh, continue on the journey regarding operational excellence and, and in, improve the productivity and efficiency in the Nordics. Um, at the same time, uh, uh, we are in 21 uh, closing down uh, operations outside the Nordics and, and uh, divesting some of those assets. Uh, um, going into 21, we have uh, roughly 85-90% of the net sales in the Nordics. Um, and then and in a year's time, uh, I think we, we are in a position where we'll have the four Nordic countries uh, and then uh, our high voltage business in, in Poland um, uh, left in the company and the rest uh, will be um, will be produced and, and closed down during 2021. So, so 21 is a, a year to increase the margin and then take care of, of the last parts of, of the, let's say more, um, let's say the history in, in the project business outside the Nordic, Nordics except for, for Poland. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then from there onwards, it will be a, a gradual, gradual growth, uh, partly through uh, organic growth and partly uh, m as in the future. Mm. You issued a uh, guidance for, for this year. Could you a little bit tell us about your, your expectations for this year? Yes, uh, we issued guidance for 21 uh, that our EBITDA will improve from 2020. Uh, and that is, is based on the work that we have done, but it's also based on a healthy and good market situation in uh, in Finland, in uh, Norway and Denmark, um, we are uh, growing uh, through uh, through fiber uh, and through 5G uh, rollouts uh, in these three countries. Plus, there's also 5G uh, market opportunity coming uh, in in Sweden as well. 
So it's it's uh, the guidance as such is based on on partly that we have been able to to close down operations in a professional way uh, outside the Nordics and partly good market and and then partly improved uh, productivity and efficiency in the Nordic business. Mm. Now finally, you also updated slightly your your financial your longer term financial targets. Could you tell us a little bit about this? Yes, uh, we today communicated uh, our updated targets uh, for 2023. Uh, and the target is to, to reach a 5% EBITDA. Uh, um, we are also uh, targeting a growth of 2 to 4% in the Nordics, um, a healthy balance sheet that we all already now have achieved, I would say. Um, and, and on top of that, uh, we also, uh, depending on the leverage in the company, uh, want to come back to be, become a, a dividend uh, payer in the future. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for walking us through uh, the last year uh, and giving us an update on where you are now in your, in your turnaround process. Uh, we look forward to hearing more from LTL going, going forward. Thank you very much and uh, have a nice day. Thank you.